Welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be explaining the 10 months I've spent in Thailand. Currently, I'm back in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in America. I spent the last 10 months in Thailand and a little bit in the Philippines. So going back to almost a year ago, I was in Milwaukee. I was creating with my friends. I was having a great time, but deep down, I wasn't working on the vision that I had. And also I've always had this strong desire to travel outside the country and just focus on my vision, live in my purpose, remove all self doubt. Yeah, I decided to stop holding myself back and made the move and um, turned out to be the best decision that I've made. So a huge benefit from traveling outside the country or traveling in general is the mindset and perspective switch a trip to another country especially across the world will open up your mind and change your perspective experiencing new ways of living a whole new environment with new people that grew up with different values and ideas and a whole different culture it's so refreshing and you're almost forced to fully live in the present moment you just have a heightened sense of curiosity. You wanna explore more, try new things. You don't really doubt yourself at all, at least from my experience. And yeah, it just really opened up my mind. In my personal experience living in Koh Chang, the whole island felt like one big community, very family oriented, valued time spent with each other, sharing food and laughs, valuing relationships and experiences over material objects and overconsumption, much like uh, the way most people live in America. Moving to Thailand, everything was new. And it gave me so much energy throughout the days. I had a new routine, I was eating new food every day, meeting new people, just a whole new environment, and just trying new things, picking up new hobbies. Another amazing thing about Thailand was there's delicious and nutritious and low priced foods all over the island I was staying on. Great food for a great price and uh, still be healthy. And another amazing thing about living on the island I was living on is just driving a moped every day, surrounded by beautiful nature, mountains and the ocean, drive around, listen to music, and just soak in all the beauty. And of course, for me personally, last but not least, was Muay Thai. Obviously a huge introduction into my life. If you're familiar with other videos on my channel, it's pretty much all Muay Thai. And I just fell in love with everything about it, from the community to the mental and physical benefits, and just the, the artistic craft in itself. It was just so fun to develop the skills and learn with other people from around the world. Unfortunately, I did get injured and back in the States now, temporarily. I had a chance to reflect on the past 10 months and it was just such an amazing time. So many great memories made, so many new friends, learned so many things about myself, fell in love, learned so much about life in general and definitely about myself and very grateful for all the memories made and definitely looking forward to going back to Thailand. When I did start training Muay Thai, I did eventually start training for a fight, which was the most focused I've ever been for anything. And unfortunately, I did dislocate my shoulder. If you haven't watched the other videos talking about that, just a temporary mental fall off, but realigned with my purpose, back on track and focus with new goals and a clear vision. And a part of that vision is definitely bringing back Don't Get Brainwashed and dropping a, a collection sometime this summer and definitely staying consistent with these YouTube uploads. The channel was mainly Muay Thai videos, but now that I'm back in America, I'll be just sharing more of my life and just document the journey of creating clothes again, recovering from this injury, sharing everything that helps me along my journey to inspire you guys, build a community of like-minded, creative, honest, loving individuals that just wanna encourage each other, collaborate with each other, and just hold each other accountable. That's definitely a big goal of mine. And I wanted to talk about the social media detox I took for about two months which played a huge factor in helping me get to 1,000 subscribers yeah just using these social medias as a tool and not letting them use me and get caught up with the algorithms and the and the reels and the shorts and just focus on the vision focus on intentional action and not just you know quick dopamine hits and instant gratification but actually working on a purpose practicing delayed gratification and really putting in the effort Oh, and speaking of a thousand subscribers, I do want to do a Q&A very soon. So I'll be posting that on social media and on the community tab on YouTube. So look out for that. Ask me anything you want. Feels good to be back on track. Feels good to be focused and have some clear goals to work towards. 
I definitely want to be back in Thailand early next year. Plan on getting a place in Bangkok. And yeah, just staying consistent with these uh, uploads. I just want to share more. Just share all that helps me along my journey. Have some open and honest conversations. I want to inspire and empower everyone that needs it. I will continue to learn and grow, becoming my greatest version every day, and just creating through truth and love always. So thanks for watching. I hope you've been well. Love you. Don't get brainwashed.